Go down there and pick the one real quick. He said the stranger that is getting with me, they gonna get above you very high. You gonna come down very low. Now all nations over you, why? Because you broke a cup. Let's just say if you made a promise, if we made an agreement with each other. And I said, look, bruh, I need you to do this for me. And if you do this for me, I'm going to reward you with this. But if you don't do it, if you don't keep your hand on body, then bro, I'm coming for you. That's how the most high is with us right now. He still on our ass, so we sit up there and repent and say, you know what, let's do what uh, we're supposed to do. That's right. Let's do what we're commanded to do. Let's so make that agree. That's why you think you keep seeing all these people get shot down by white cops. Right, that's the only thing that make our people mad. When Alexis Kane got mad, people weren't mad and rioting. Man, we supposed to break this damn job down. That's right. That's right. Old people killing each other. But when the white man do it, we ride. And, 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 Cause that's the only way the most I can get your attention. They throw it in the mud like that. They ride. They ain't got no Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understand. But read what you got. Now listen to this. Listen to this. Read. Now 42 and 22. Isaiah 42 and 22. Now listen to this real quick. Cause then, like I said, we can destroy their system. They be in prison for you. In the Bible, the most I'm going to tell you who packed in the prison houses. Read what you got. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. Read. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. We've been robbed of everything we got, including our nationality. We got another nation of people set up in our land pretending to be us. Pretending to be God's chosen people. That's right. Read. That's right. They are all of them snared in holes. He said they all snared in holes. Read. And they are hid in prison houses. Who packed in the prison house? Who is? When you sit up there and somebody get locked up, what they say, man? They hid, man, they hid in the Jojo. I don't know what y'all saying is up here. Me, we, when somebody get locked up, they get 15 years. Man, they hid them, bro. They threw them under the chair. Where y'all from? Uh, we got brothers from up here. We, we from four different cities, though. What's I'm from Memphis. We got Chicago up here. And we got St. Louis up here. But read that again. They are hid in the prison house. He said they hid in prison house. Who hid in prison house? If we start to keep God's laws, guess what? They can't lock us up in prison. If they can't lock you up in prison, guess what? They can't make no money. They don't get no government funds. If they don't get no government funds, then guess what? They don't got no job. If they don't got no job, guess what? The damn prison got to close. We got the solution, but our people don't want the solution. We lie down in our shame. We don't want to stand up and be God's chosen people. This is what Peter said. Give me Acts 10 real quick. Verse 26. What you say? Yeah. You said the Bible what? Yeah. Yeah. Read what you got. Acts chapter 10, verse 26. Now listen to him. But Peter took him up, saying, Stand up. And I myself also am a man. Hear that? Peter was telling Cornelius to stand up. He said, I myself also am a man. That's what we out here telling our people right now. That's right. Black man, when you gonna stand up? That's right. That's right. You the Israelites the Bible speaks of. That's, That's right. right. God chose the people. That's right. We the best of God's creation. It's time for our people to repent. It's time for us to wake up. Y'all see all the stuff that's going on around the world? Give me second answer real quick, chapter 16. I'm going to show you something. Bring it out. You give, me, you give me Matthew 24. Give me Matthew 24. Let me show y'all something. Yeah, verse 1. Yeah, yeah. Now you read this first. Read what you got. You the book of there. Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 6. Listen in. Read. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors. Is that it? Hold on. Read that again, brother. And ye shall hear of war. You hear that? Christ said ye shall hear of wars, read. And rumors of war. Don't y'all know that Iran just got a nuke? Don't y'all know that Iran just shot a missile at a U.S. ship? Right what, about, what about ISIS with all these terrorist threats? You don't, you don't know what ISIS said. Read again. And ye shall hear about rumors of war. It's read again. And ye shall hear of, of wars and rumors. It's not we hearing of wars and rumors of wars. Bring it out. Read out. See that ye be not troubled. Read. For all these things must come to pass. He said all these things must come to pass. And you see it happen. Meaning if it ain't happening, it's going to happen. Read. But the end is not yet. Read. For a nation 
shall rise against nation. And have we not been seeing nation rise against nation? You see new crime rise up. You see China rise up. You see Japan rise up. You see Syria rise up. You see North Korea rise up. You see Egypt rise up. God said what? For nation shall rise against nation. He said nation shall rise against nation, read. And kingdom against kingdom. America against Iran. Russia against America. Kingdom against kingdom, read. And there shall be famine, famine. He said there shall be famine, meaning shortage is on food, shortage is on water. They cut the water off in Detroit. It's a shortage on water in California right now. A lot of that river drying up, and y'all don't even know nothing about it. Read. And pestilence. These diseases sound like it's an HIV outbreak in Indiana. But our people ain't paying no attention, and you're going to continue to fornicate, read. And earthquakes. And earthquakes. Just like that earthquake just hit in Nepal. It killed over 10,000 people. Y'all ain't ready for no earthquake in Kansas City. You is not ready for an earthquake. It's time for our people to wake up and see the signs of the time. Read. All these are the beginnings of sorrow. And it's just the beginning of sorrow. Read what you got now. Read. Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 1. Read. Woe be unto thee, Babylon. Read. In Asia. Woe be unto thee. Egypt and Syria. That's what we were just talking about. Kingdom against king. So most I said destruction coming to them kingdoms, read. Gird up thyself, your, gird up yourself with claws of sack, we and hair. Beware your children. So most I said they're gonna be wild your children. Destruction is coming to this planet Earth, and destruction is coming for your deliverance. That's you gotta right. wake up and repent, read. And be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. What it say, read? For your destruction is at hand. Just like if you Negroes don't repent, your destruction is at hand. You got to make a choice. Either you're going to repent with this water that we got for you, or you're going to get this fire. That's right. You're going to either be cleansed yeah. with this water, which is the word, or you're going to be cleansed with fire, which is a new right. of blood. Because a lot of our people going to die. Read what you got. Verse 3. A sword is sent upon you. You hear that? The most I said, a sword is sent upon you. Read. And who may turn it back? Who can turn back the hands of the Most High? Who can turn back the destruction that the Most High been sent to this place? Read. A fire is sent among you. Read. And who may quench it? Read. Plagues are sent <laughs> unto you. God said plagues are sent, but the Most High sent in plagues on this place. That's why you see all these uprisings, these uproar. The Most High trying to wake you up. And the only way he don't wake you up, you kill each other all day, you stay asleep. The only way the most I know to wake you up is let a white cop shoot one of you niggas and then now you woke all of a sudden. Now you woke, now you want to rebel. But when y'all, well, but when they shot that little girl down in Lexus Cage, nobody didn't do a damn thing. It wasn't no riots. Bring it out. Nobody oh. wasn't pissed. Bring it out. Tell about people to wake the hell up. Right. It wasn't no international news. Y'all sleep. And you hate one another. Right. And the most I said, what? Read that again. Plagues are sent unto you. That's why you, the plagues are sent among this place. Read. And what is he that may drive them back? And how are you going to turn back the plagues of the most high? Y'all ain't preparing for destruction to come to this place. Everybody like to get high? Smoking the weed? I smell kush right now. I smell kush right now. You so high. I'm going to show you why you so high in, in the land of your captivity. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Verse 61, no, 64. I mean, 65. I'm going to show you all why you love getting high in your captivity. Matter of fact, no. Before you get there, give me another 28 verse 20. This one right here, read. Verse 20. Then we're going to get 65. This why you love getting high in the land of your captivity. This why you love getting drunk. You're trying to forget about you sla a slave. You're trying to forget that you're in the hoods and in the projects. You're trying to forget that we killing one another. You're trying to forget about the damn white man being your enemy and that he hates you. That's right. right. You're, trying to, you're trying to forget about slavery. Read what you got. Read what Deuteronomy, you got. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 20. Read. The Lord shall send upon thee cursings, vexations. This is why our people get so high. Because the Most High has sent upon us all types of affliction. And now we have become a misfortunate people. We ain't ever. We are not Africans, bro. We are the Israelites. That's right. All black people are not Africans. 
So you the, the white man told you that. So you we Asiatic. are not Asiatic. We are Israelites. Yes, That's right. The white God chose the people. You not Moors? No, we ain't Moors. You know what? What? What does the word more mean? What does the word more mean? What does the word more mean? Tell me, brother. Every word means something. So tell see, me. you ask me what that something that you don't know what it is. That, that, more that, comes. I'm asking you to tell. Okay, more comes from a Latin word that means black. That's it. More means black. Now, guess who the Moors were? The Moors were Israelites. The Moors was Israelites. That's who we telling our people they are. We ain't no Moors. We ain't no African Americans. We ain't Africans. We are the Israelites. We God's chosen people. We went into captivity for breaking God's commandment. The slave ships in the Bible. The yokes are earned in the Bible. Uh, you serving your enemy for food, water, and clothes? All that's in the Bible. Why? For being disobedient to the commandments. You getting hey, high as hell all day? It's in the Bible. Read what you got. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 20. Read. And the Lord shall sit upon thee, cursing, Read. vexation, Read. and rebuke. And since all these evil things uh, come upon us, because the most I corrected us, we become afflicted and misfortunate people. That's why we get high all day. Read. And all that thou settest thy hand unto. Everything you set your hand to do, you fail and why? Because you won't repent. Y'all won't know why we ain't prospering as a people? Because you will not repent. You wicked as hell. Yeah. Set up the three uh, young black boys that shot Alexis game down. You know? Y'all wicked as hell. When the hell you gonna wake up? When you gonna get angry about something for real? When you gonna get mad every time another black man kill another black man? Bring it when up. we gonna yeah. stop treating our women like hoes? When we gonna take care of our kids? Time for y'all wake up. Read what you got. That's right. For to do, until thou be destroyed. We And until thou pe perish quickly. The most I said, you gonna be a misfortune and afflict your people until you repent. That's why the Most High plucking us out the land, and he rejoicing plucking you Negroes up out the land. Because you wicked as hell, you don't even know who you are. Just like he said, that's a cowardly stuff. Three young boys shooting down a damn little girl, taking time. 14 years old. Y'all some damn devils, and y'all need to repent. God gonna destroy these places for a show. Read what you got. Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 4. Read. A sinful nation. Folks, I said you're a sinful nation of people. Talk about you Israelite. You black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Bring it up. That's why you have been afflicted and so much evil constantly happened to you. Read. A people laden with iniquity. He said you laden with sin. You stack sin on top of sin. All this evil keep happening to you and you constantly oh, continue to sin. Read. Okay, so a seed of evildoers. I called you Israelites to see the evildoers. Right. You wicked as hell. Bring right. it out. You Bring it out. You don't know who your God is and you don't know what your homeland is. We, children that are corruptors. The most I said children that are corrupted. And when we bring out the true word in its, impur in its impurity, I mean in its purity, you got a problem with it. You think this the white man's power. That's right. You wicked as hell. You get a white man credit for everything. You get a white man a credit for that damn moon in the sky. Read. They have forsaken the Lord. Y'all forsaken the most high God. Our people have abandoned the Lord. Read. The scriptures don't say that. See, your wicked ass need to repent. Give me verse Timothy 2 and 11. Bring it up. Give me verse for the loud mouth black woman. Bring it up. your damn friend. See? You're so damn, you're so damn scared and shaking. You leaving your damn friend. With your wicked ass. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, read it loud, the, boy. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and 11. Read it loud, Bring boy. it out. Let the woman learn in silence. Yeah. Let the woman learn in silence. Everybody say it together. Read. Let the woman learn in silence. Read it again. Let the woman learn in silence. Say it again. Let the woman learn in silence. One more time by the wicked black woman. Read. Let, Let the woman learn in silence. God said the woman needs to learn in silence. That's we right. right. We are here to teach our people and show them who they are according to the Bible. That's now go right back right to where you was at. Read. Read. Children that are corruptors. The most I said you are children that are corruptors. Read. They have forsaken the Lord. He said you have forsaken the Lord. The Bible coming out right now, and you want to sit up there and disrespect the word of God. Read. They have provoked. 
the Holy One of Israel. That's how you provoke the Holy One of Israel, like doing that. Well, not keeping your foot when you enter into the house of God, read. Unto anger, they are gone away backwards. The most I said, you Israelites have gone away backwards, read. Why should ye be stricken anymore? He said, why should I keep afflicting you? The most I really want to destroy some of y'all, but he know one third of us going to repent. Why? He said, why should I keep afflicting you, read. You will revolt more and more. The more the most I afflict down people, the more they revolt more and more and more. It's time to wake up, Kansas. Right. It's time for Kansas to wake the hell up. It's time for Missouri to wake the hell up. That's right. That's Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.